Hello, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to Killing Floor 2. Haven't done this for a while, and in fact, this is the first time I've played this game for several months. I have played a couple of matches before I started recording, but those were just me attempting to actually find a game that was near the beginning. So I'm thinking we've got two supports and one berserker. And I'm thinking I'm going to go Firebug. Because I think Firebug and Sharpshooter are two of the perks that I enjoy playing. Sharpshooter because they've got a nice array of weapons. And, well, it's very satisfying to pull off headshots. And Firebug, well, because burning things is a lot of fun. I'm sincerely hoping that that is just push to talk so they're not hearing everything I'm saying. Because it'd probably be rather embarrassing for me and annoying for them. Make your mind up quick, boys. So yeah, like I said, I haven't played Killing Floor for quite a long time, so forgive me for any terrible gameplay that you might experience. So I'm going to be entering the game on round three. So... Hopefully, I will be able to survive with just starting weapons. Oh, he's a sharpshooter now. Well, that's a good thing I picked Firebug then. Could also have gone for Medic, but I think we've got a good mix here. I'll save my Mac 10 ammo. And stick with a pistol for now. And pulling off headshots is just as satis Whoa. It's just as satisfying as it was all that time ago. You can also consider this my preparing for killing floor session or sessions. Because killing floor two is on the horizon. I've seen the gameplay footage on the PC Gamer YouTube channel, and I have to say it looks freaking gorgeous. The 60 frames per second full match they put up. I enjoyed every minute of that. All the new gore, the new zeds, the new animations, the new arenas, all the updated everything. It is just glorious. That has just completely missed. He didn't that time. Okay, Mac 10 time, Mac 10 time. Now we're popping heads. And two sirens just to make my day especially bad. Do not die now. Medic! Call for a medic! I'm hitting the hotkey that I put on, but I. Come on! Well, if one of the, ho if one of the husks had popped me then, that would have gone badly. Anybody? Thank you. And now I'll return the favour by healing you. See, that's how you're supposed to do things. What are you doing? So, on the trader, we can hopefully finally... We've got another player who's just joined us. So hopefully I'll be able to get myself some good gear so that doesn't happen again. Keep all the weapons fully loaded and give this guy a bit of a boost. There's one... I'm pretty sure the big guys will start coming soon, so I want... I love dual flare revolvers. They are just glorious. Uh, 
and back outside because I usually prefer being in open areas. Husks do generally get better shots, but it's a bit harder for the Zeds to box you in. I'm hoping that my system will be able to run killing floor 2 in good quality. Because, from what I've heard, it is definitely going to be a big graphical upgrade, but I'm hoping... Because it's a very PC focused game, optimization should be good enough I can run it smoothly. Because I want to see all that gory glory in 60 frames per second because it would be just beautiful. Welcome to the age of video games where gore is considered beautiful. Husks may be resistant to fire but not to bullets. And that's a lot of crawlers. And yes, um, I, like many other people, do still hate crawlers. The way they can just chip away at your armor. Especially when you're a berserker and you generally have to get close to them in order to do... What is that guy doing? I also hate sirens as well. As soon as they get close to you, they eat away at your health at a very rapid pace as well as destroying your expensive grenades if you throw them at the wrong moment. Whoa. I never noticed they leap all the way up there. They emerge from the underground, only to meet a hail of incendiary bullets. Of course, one problem with the MAC-10 is firing down the sights at full ortho can quickly destroy your aim because of the recoil. Hence why I usually tend to go for hip fire if they're moderately close. It's just generally easier to see that way. So, first order of business is to restock my ammo. And also to get myself some body armor. Because we're going to be on wave 5 next. And on long games, I'm pretty sure that's when the scrapes start to show up. If my memory serves me correctly. Mac 10. The dual flare revolvers. And then the rest on pistol ammo. I love these things so much. They're only revolvers, but they have an incendiary effect, and they can pack enough of a punch that a full clip can put a nice dent in the health of a scrake or flesh pound, as well as set them on fire for a little bit of extra damage. On one of my earlier games I played before recording this, I actually played on a map which was I hadn't seen before. But it was in the map Rota. Which was essentially a mana defense. A very small map which was a mana similar to this except without the extension there. In a cornfield. And play all of us essentially just hold up in the mana and barricaded the one door leading into the place, so it was, in a sense, a tower defence game. And the trader was in a van, just outside. So, it was go in, weld the door, defend the house, unweld the door, go visit the trader, buy your weapons, go back in and weld the door. Although there was more than one occasion where one player was still left outside when we welded the door, so we had to quickly weld them up again, unweld them, let them in, and then weld them up again. Awkward. Are you welding or unwelding? Well, either way, the door's open. I hate crawlers. They sneak up on you. Oh, we've got a bobcat joining us.
I sincerely hope Killing Floor 2 changes the fact that if you reload your weapon, you can't switch out from that weapon until you finish the reloading animation. For example, you can't pull out another gun or throw a grenade or switch to healing syringe if you're reloading. Which can get a might bit annoying. Whoa! Yeah, screw it, I'm taking that armor. There you are. And I'll heal you for good measure. <laughs> Man, the bloats are ugly in killing full two. Not ugly in the sense their model is bad, just ugly in the sense that they are freaking ugly because they're even fatter, even more bloated, and ugh, gosh, the way they fall apart when you kill them. Glorious! There's the last one. I also sincerely hope that they try to remove the occasional problem specimens getting stuck. Because that has happened a couple of times and you have to actually hunt them down and scoot the outer edges of the map to where they could have gotten stuck when they spawned in. From what I've heard, they're planning on releasing Killing Floor 2 in early access. Which, you know... I don't really have that much of a problem with it because I'm sure they'll do a good job with it. Because the footage I've seen of the game, it looks very much... There you are. It looks very much playable and very highly detailed and all that. But at least that wasn't the guy who I get, just gave all my money to. And he's got no money left, so he clearly spent it well. Or at least he spent it. I hope he spent it well. Do a good job, and I'll be waiting. I've never actually pre-ordered a game or bought a game on release day since 2010, I think. And that would have been probably bad company too. I, I'm not sure if I'll break that trend for Killing Floor 2. Maybe. Probably not, though. I'll just play it safe, have a look at some videos when it's released, see what other people think of it, and then make a decision from there. Sorry if you hear any rattling, it's just the mic is positioned over the enter button, which I need to press in order to send out ch chat. Oh, dude. Get to the armor I mentioned. There's a straight. Time to bring out these beauties. I ever tell you how much I love those things? Someone's got the armor, but it probably wasn't him unless he just instantly lost it. Say hello to my little friends. Look at that. Completely obliterated him. Somebody heal that guy. Can you see I'm reloading? Give me a sec, I'm reloading. Stand still, I'll stick it where the sandman blade shine. Whoa, oh. I don't often see people with a nail gun. Whoa! Shop is open, boys. Come get me. 
in the cave, from the looks of it. On the videos, I saw quite a few people expressing doubt about the new trader in Killing Floor 2, where it's essentially an automated voice deploying sort of pods which serve as 3D printers with guns. I'm trying to heal you, not bloody tickle you. Is it, I'm sure a lot of people consider this trade of voice annoying as well as a bit immersion breaking when she's teleporting all over the place but I don't know the new trade of voice well uh, I'll, I'll agree with them that she's a bit monotone I probably still prefer it over hers plus she's got a French accent and that's certainly not a bad thing Right, I think flesh pounds are going to start spawning now. Speaking of which, there's one there. I think, yes, it was a flesh pound. Certainly, I missed the fun. <laughs> in Killing Floor 1 you can blow off the head, the arms and the legs, but in Killing Floor 2 there are supposed to be around 22 spots that you can blow off. And bits and bobs of the body, the head, the limbs, etc. Plus of course full modding support. We'll have to see what the community can do with all the new features and upgrades and such in Killing Floor 2. Oh yeah. In case you haven't gathered it already, I am rather excited for that game. I don't often get excited for games these days, compared to when I was younger. Maybe it's because of age, maybe it's because there aren't exactly a lot of games out there that really catch my interest anymore. Probably a mix of both. Maybe it's also because of all the, you know, there have been so many cases these days of games just not living up to the hype. That's most likely also a factor. Oh yeah, and I thought a siren stopped flares. I could have been wrong. Cause I think mine hit her because I got the kill. You, my good friend, need to die. Ideally quickly. Oh crap. Don't worry, I don't need money. I just panicked and hit the wrong thing. Oh, no, you don't. Always keep a careful eye out for the outlines of stalkers. I know you probably can't see them with YouTube quality, but... There we are. We're sharing out healing as it's supposed to be done. Whoa! All dead. Don't it's shut me out like that. Shopping. See, if what I've seen, Killing Floor 2 is definitely taking a bit of a sci fi feel to it. What with all the HUD, the 3D printer, the new environments and stuff. Some people might say it doesn't have the same kind of feel to it with the new voices and appearance and such, but you know what? From what I've seen, I like it. It takes place in mainland Europe and not just Britain, so you want a bigger variety of voices. Fine, fine, fine. Dosh, grab it while you can, lads. There you are, see? Being generous. Cheers, Governor. 